<laughs> what? Look. <laughs> starting to look my age. It's you're uh, like, are those camera are fails when you like turn it on and <laughs> it's right on you rather than flip to the other way. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> look, well, I'm all know. looking old. That's why that's why these kids hold the camera up. <laughs> See, <laughs> hide them lines. <laughs> All right, is it? It looks like it's all cloudy. Mm, I clean it all dirty. That's what was making me look old. Oh, yeah, fix that filter. Yeah, let's get make sure we got the right filter. <clears throat> Is it gonna work? It's gonna work. You know, it works. One of these days, somebody's gonna say y'all stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That little piece of paper there. So what were we talking about? Can you asked me if I was gonna look. Oh, at I'm it? watching you eat that lollipop right now. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> it's a good post workout, but yep. I'm gonna have it for pre workout. Pre workout blow pop. <laughs> chest, anyway. Ch anyway. chest day. It's chest day. Yes. We work out four days a week right now. Lift. We lift four days a week. Monday's chest day. Tuesday's back day. Well, let's do it. Chest and tries on Monday. Okay. Back and buys on Tuesday, legs on Wednesday, shoulders on Thursday. That is a four day a week program that we follow. Most of the time we do strength training first, which we do three or four heavy sets of compound movement. Compound movement, you know, what that, is? You know what that means? Compound, compound, compound movement. movement. That's your primal movements, your big bench press, Large squats, deadlifts or pull-ups and for shoulders it's overhead press those are what we call compound movements which they work multiple muscles and then after we do our strength sets we jump into more isolated movements as far as flies and different things for the chest isolating small muscle groups isolating that particular muscle group but now usually we'll do so what we'll do is um, we'll bench, heavy set, heavy bench, and then we'll still do incline or decline bench as well, but we'll lighten the load and do more reps. Still doing the compound movements, but going more repetitions. Right. And then we'll go into isolation movements as, such as flies, um, and then we'll end it with like two or three exercises, well, usually about two exercises for just triceps only. But in order to gain strength, have to do your compound movements. Those compound movements are extremely important. And then you work on your accessory muscles. What? <laughs> I'm trying to tell them why we do what, we, what we're doing. They're listening. They are. I'm glad too. We appreciate you guys. So the original um, question today, and the reason you said we should record this. I don't know. You forgot. You did. I did. You did. <laughs> You said you're gonna lift heavy today. I'm gonna lift heavy today. You asked me if I was gonna lift heavy. I said, yep. oh, I think but so. But see, you're nursing a shoulder injury. Right. And I also have nursed a shoulder injury for about two years. I went to the police academy two years ago in September, and the very first day of benching, maxing out, in which I was benching around 3, 315 at the time, and I tore my rotator cuff the very first day of the police academy. And I literally had to go back to benching the bar. Um, lucky, lucky, luckily, luckily, luckily for me, my instructor recognized that I was able to still do the exercises and not send me home. Actually, I never even went to the doctor. I was like, I'm cool, I'm all right, I'll be all right, I know what to do. So I'm like Don't doing do push-ups no. all sideways anyway, no. but yeah. I, was smart enough to recognize the injury and I nursed myself back and 
by the end of the six months in the academy, I actually finished out benching 250. So it took six months to work myself back up to 250. And it's okay to go light and start light. Absolutely. And do more reps. If you get hurt doing this, then you're defeating the purpose. Uh -huh. I, I, I did a little bit of ego lifting that day. There was a bunch of, I was the oldest one in the class, and I just wanted to, I don't know, I had to prove something to myself, I guess. And I, that's what happens. Didn't warm up properly. I don't even max out anymore. There are, there's apps out there for you. You can download the app on your phone. But there's a calculation for, let's say you're going to bench 225, and you can do it for 10 reps. Then it'll give you what your max should be, which I think that's like right around 300 or 305 if you can do 225. But it'll give you what your max should be, or one rep max. So that's what I do now. There's, I'm not trying to impress anybody as far as that goes. And that's like the most common. How much you bench, man? How much you bench? Well, I bench, what, 85? Right. You started out 80, on the bar. 80, yeah, 45 pounds right. on the bar. But I'm going heavy today, I think, because what my goal is, is to increase the strength. I want to get stronger. So I'm and I do too. So uh -huh. Last week... I did 245. Our goal is five reps, three sets of five. Sometimes we'll go an extra set, but it's progressive overload. And that's no matter what you do, when it's benching, it's squatting, overhead press, pull ups, deadlifts, whatever you're doing, you want to progressively overload. And that's each week from week to week, you do either more reps or more weight. Speaking of so, injury, do not ever go into a gym or a workout program without warming up. So we always warm up. Always. Most of the time, we do yoga, which is an active warm up, a dynamic warm up, along with stretching, stretching. at the same time. And then on leg day, we generally do stair mill, stair master, stair mill, whatever you want to call it. That gets your legs good and warmed up. Then we'll do some warm up sets of squats. It takes a while to get your legs warmed up properly. We are already seven minutes, and we just talk and talk and talk. And the primary goal of this video is just to talk about workout programs and, and different <laughs> programs to follow. But this, that's our that's our program because that's what days of the week we have available. Monday through Thursday, we've got two hours, which an hour of it's driving to the gym and back. So when we get to the gym, we're busting it out. We're doing chest on Monday, then we go in. You know, we get it done. We don't stop and talk much. Um, and then also now we're doing boot camp. So on Monday, Tuesday evenings, we're doing a HIIT workout, Wednesday, a boot camp. Monday, Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday, my bad, my bad. Monday, yeah, Wednesday, and training. Saturday morning we do HIIT training, high intensity interval training with the boot camp. So we get away with not doing any cardio during weight training because we get our cardio in at boot camp mm -hmm. and abs. So, but we got a little bit extra time today, so we might do some abs afterwards. Or do some more chest. Yeah. <laughs> so I got training. But there's so many conversations that it could branch off into. There's some people say that you need to do full body workouts, or you need to hit each muscle more than once a week, or it's not going to grow. You know, I, I beg to differ. She's she's showing awesome results. I'm still growing. You know, we do each muscle group once a week on paper but I mean if you think about it we're doing boot camp too which is resistance training we're hitting chest two to three times a week even though we have one chest day through these other days we're still hitting chest yeah. we're still doing it but you got to find out what days work for you figure out how much time you have and then find a program that'll work for you at some point the more you do it the more you'll realize what works mm -hmm. what you need to do <laughs> yeah, that's right. You want to build hey, a chest? We did a video for that. Yeah. That's somewhere in, in here. Build a butt. Yeah. Ooh, we should have recorded that last time we did. Set it on fire. That was boot camp. Uh, Those were hill sprints. We did hill sprints backwards. You want to build a leg day last week <laughs> yeah. was brutal. Yeah. Oh, we did a lot of squats. Oh, God. Like last week. See, we changed it up last week mm -hmm. on chest day. We didn't do anything but flat bench. We started oh. heavy, got lighter and lighter and lighter on our weight, but we did like almost 20 sets. A whole hour, 45 Just minutes, whatever. 45 minutes to an hour of benching. And, I mean, it is what it is. We were sore. I was sore for a week. 
just switched it up. Yeah. But we're going to show you some chest day today. So stay tuned. It'll be on this video. I know it's a long video, but... I got a tip. You got a tip? I got a tip. What's a tip? For the ladies. What? <laughs> if you're trying to grow here, <laughs> slack off on the bench. <laughs> Is it making yours go away? <laughs> nope. All of this this training has done nothing for my boobs <laughs> but deflate them, and I've never had a problem. Well... Let's not misunderstand that. The, the training's not doing it. It's actually your weight loss and fat loss, which is right. causing that. But that's part of my training. But the training is, yeah, the weight loss, fat loss. It's, is a, it's, it's fat loss because that's breasts are full. It's fat. Right. It's fat tissue. So, yeah. But you've also had three children. I have had three. Three children. 17 years you ago. You look amazing done a hell of a job. Well, thanks. <laughs> bigger boobs. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> Start a uh, GoFundMe Go account me. for my boobs. <laughs> it's a problem. No, really, though, ser in all seriousness, this is, like, that's a common concern for some women is their breasts. Yeah. Uh, for those of us who are all, who want to be 40 in the future and have had children, the stretch marks and getting your body back and the, the process over time because it takes time it does and the fact is when you guys go through that whole having children and everything that's just part of it that's yeah. natural and when you lose weight when you lose fat just like you said earlier that's breasts are fatty tissue and you're probably going to lose a few breasts or breast Brown. sizes bra sizes yep <laughs> and the mean, same with just, i mean that's what you they rec you recognize that because when you fluctuate in weight and you go up in weight, your boobs get bigger. You go down in weight, your boobs get smaller. Yeah. So. I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> we were so blessed when we were created. With all of the most wonderful non-existing problems, problems don't you? right? And we go through pregnancy too. I went through two. I had two. Pregnancy weight. I have to <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure when my daughter was growing, I was growing too. I was, I was as big as she was. <laughs> There's a picture somewhere. My belly was as big as hers. <laughs> did you experienced that pregnancy. With yeah, her? I did. Yeah. All right, we are here. We are here, pulling into the gym. We'll, uh, video this session. Yeah, we're not going to video everything, but we'll put some moves together and clips. Anyway, stay tuned. <laughs>